by Awesome Club. Uh, things have moved along, as you would be well aware. Uh, Consensually, a uh, start date for the competition of 18th of July. Uh, that's a 13 team competition uh, with Newcastle and Penrith in it. Um, still yet to be confirmed, both start date and the competition, but it is looking promising and giving our players that have worked hard in the off season and pre season some hope. Subsequently, the government have eased some restrictions and we're allowed now to train in groups of 10. Uh, we've put our own, we've researched our own protocols as well and combined protocols from Australian Institute of Sport, return to community sport, uh, the government health protocols, Sydney Rugby Union, uh, and some adopted some of the new, uh, NRL protocols as well. And it's quite a quite uh, new and kind of complex for some of our players. And I think as a club, we're doing everything we can to uh, protect our players, ensure our players are healthy, as well as uh, do some training. We've come back from the eight week hiatus, uh, not in great nick, not in the nick that um, I would hope, but in essence, it is hard training by yourself and being able to push yourself and the boys the lads are relishing training together. We've designed a unique program. It's not a matter of what we can't do, but rather what we can do. The players have two set sessions a week in groups of eight. They also have four extra running sessions and four extra gym sessions on top of this in their own time. We monitor all this by an app called Team Builder where the players have to put in their results. We're pretty buoyed by uh, the way the players have returned. There's been a few uh, cobwebs we needed to um, blow out in terms of uh, some of the fitness standards and some of the uh, cultural and work ethic standards and, and we've done that fairly quickly and we're now down to some pretty significant work. I thought I'd give you a bit of a background in the process of training. We're training in groups of eight. Those groups are set and they can't change and their times are set also. They have to do a daily health check um, via an app we've got called Team Builder. But prior to training, they need to do the COVID check uh, questionnaire on that same app, the Team Builder app. They turn up to the gate, two metres uh, physical distancing, temperature checked, uh, another uh, physical screening, and then into a self-distanced uh, or set zone warm-up. Uh, and each group is prog uh, progressively or staggered um, start time every 20 minutes. They go into some conditioning for 20 minutes and on an air horn uh, move and they're only allowed to move one way through the space that we have to the next station, which is uh, conditioning uh, where they basically run for 20 minutes on the air horn move again to some sprawling sprawlings uh, some mar mixed martial arts groundwork and we do that to try and uh, do some contact work without actually doing the contact and it helps us speed off ground in play as well players are finding that quite challenging um, but also enjoying and, and fulfilled that they've actually done something. They go to, the, to a skills block. Uh, they go then to an outdoor gym block, three key lifts, straight into the car park and go home. Change rooms locked. They had to bring and carry their own gear. They're not allowed to share it to bring their own water. Self-strap, uh, not allowed to shower at the ground and obviously maintain social physical distancing as well. A pretty lengthy process um, with a lot of protocols and we're taking it quite seriously because we want to keep everyone safe as, as we should. Possibly if things keep moving and uh, the restrictions ease a little bit more we may even see spectators at a game as the NRL have um, come out in the last few days. Who knows it's a very uh, unknown time
but I'm looking forward to seeing the players get out on the, get out and play some games. I hope this gives you some insight. You can see by the footage, the players are working hard. They've got a lot of uh, hard weeks in front of them. And when we can finally do some contact work and some team, actual team training, I think the players will uh, uh, jump and punch the air for joy. Look forward to catching up with you all. Please stay safe. See you soon.